Okay, so this one is your image. You can see this is image. You click on image. Once you click on image, it will ask you that where you have kept the image. I have go into, I have kept it in download. So let me check. This is the image. Suppose I'm going to take the first one like this. See, this is open. Okay. The image has come to equally distributed access. Right? So now yeah. what you have to do, what you have to do, you have to insert an equation expression now. The expression is suppose uh, what is this? I don't know, like uh, y equals to a x square. Uh, that is a common one, a x square plus b x plus uh, c. Okay, now add slider. So if I add all the slider, see this one is coming like this. Okay, you can see this blue line curve. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now if I convert this one, this minus uh, a one as minus one what is happening check it uh, it goes down yeah it goes reverse right so yeah. now you have to change the position of the car see that i am moving using b i am using slider so if i move from one place to another place the car also started moving with a uniform system and the movement also forming a uh, quadratic if you just just concentrate at the point, this one, this point. Yes. Zero one. Just keep your eyes at this point and visualize the image. When I'm moving from one side to the another side, the point also, the locus of the point also creating a quadratic form. Is it is it forming the equation y is equal to x square? Uh, equation, we are coming to that point first. See, there are so many layers are there, right? From below to the top. So I'm taking any one of it, okay? Just to understand how it is going to work. So what I'm going to do, if I'm going to move, uh, do a movement of suppose like this, it is almost coming in the middle, okay? Point one distance. So this one, now what you have to do, now C position, you have to change where you want the graph. Which curve you want to, Check it out. So, I suppose I'm going to take for this one, the above one. Okay. So I <clears throat> place it over here. Now this two side, now you can see this curve is now expanded. Now you have to expand this too. Now yeah. what is happening? Now if I move A, A to right side, it is started expanding and it is if it is positive, it is not, uh, I suppose here. See, it is coming nearby, nearby of the right side, but not the left side. So, what you have to do again, you have to change it manually. You can change it manually as well. Suppose I'm going to take point one. So, point one is little differ. So, point one, two, three. See, I'm increasing point one, four, point one, six. So, like this, if you do a trial of this uh, picture, I suppose if you want to, if I just to click the image and the center of the image, you want to change it, or angle you want to change it, height you want to change it, or width you want to change it. So, suppose I'm going to, I'm going to just uh, make it smaller, just make it bigger from the image. So, which one I want to adjust, that is totally up to me. Okay. Now, how you're going to get the equation you can see if you're making the image bigger or smaller bigger or smaller it it might change based on the size okay because these points are changing i made it a little bigger so it will make you uh, it will means make us understand better okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just fix with the i tried to fix it with the point but this one, this one, that means I have some positional disbalance. That's why this curve is still not coming to this in a saturation. So how to go left side or right B side? B is zero. B is zero, you are saying? Okay, if I make B as zero. Okay, let's see how this is working. Uh, or 0 0.01 or uh, 0 0.05 maybe because. Uh, 0 0.01 or 0 0.05. Okay, 0. Uh, 0.05. 05. 
okay, 0 0.25, let's check how it is changing. Almost coming nearby, almost coming nearby. So there are maybe some C we can change instead of 3.3, .3, I can write 3.25 or I can write 3.20 and check how it is working. Still it is coming most nearby, right? Yeah, the B has to change maybe and yeah. the A also a bit. A has yeah. to reduce a bit. Yes, so you have to adjust this point to get, uh, try to make a perfect one, but see, we are all are doing manual things, so uh, there should, ha there might have some human error, so nobody can say it should be accurate or it can be totally perfect, there will be no more disturbance or there will be no more uh, error, nobody can say that. But as much as you can, if you create this picture and try to evaluate, so you'll get different, different, um, what is called, equation. Suppose you have got it in, suppose I'm taking this one as a fixed one. So what is happening? Minus 0.16 is A. So my equation of AX squared plus BX plus C is become what? Y equals to, so my Y equals to, Y, y equals to part is, so, you can see that uh, A value is minus 0.16 and B value is 0.5 and C value is 3.20. So my new equation over here, this equation, you can just another, add one expression. So this has become Y equals to minus 0 0.16 X square, right? Uh, plus 0 0.05 X, minus, no, plus, plus 3.20, right? So if this is your equation, see the, it has become red color, overlapping each other. Now, after this, we can again change because we already fixed it. Now, how many layers of quadratic form you can see in this picture? How many layers? You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And if you take the top one, it will be six. Six layers are there, right? Yes? Yeah. yeah. So six yeah. layers, if you want to make six different quantity equation will come. Now let's try with uh, another one. That means this one, uh, we are going to change it to suppose, uh, we are going to make positional change. Suppose the curve, I want to go to the first one. So let's see. My first, actually, uh, the image also not in exact position, little bit tilted over here, right? Little bit tilted over here. So I can change its position, I uh, sorry, graph, graph position to fix it. Hmm? So point one, almost it is coming now. I have to now reduce the size of A. Sorry. Okay, now let's move manually. Uh, sorry, point. So, point four. Yeah, it is almost coming. So, let me now adjust the value again. Instead of point four, make it as point three five. Okay. Now, this value, C value, we can just adjust as much as possible. Yeah, see, another equation again formed, right? So this one equation is negative 0.4 x squared plus 0.35 x minus 0.2, okay? So the, another equation has been formed. Like this, you can just find out different, different curvature and get the equation. So this is the process how you will, you will use your graphics calculator or Desmos to find an image equation, okay? Previously, what we are doing previously, we are making an equation and creating the graph. And using this technology, we can now, from the image, we can find the equation. What is the equation of the graph or of the curve? Okay, is it making sense? 